American Gladiators on Family Feud in the Battle of the Sexes. Introducing the American Gladiator women, Sky. And their opponents, the American Gladiator men, Saber, Nitro, Laser, and Fox. On your mark, let the game on Family Feud's American Gladiator Special with the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Thank you. You got me into it. I... Thank you. Welcome to a very special feud. Day four of the Battle of the American Gladiators. We're cooking now. We're getting some money up there. $5,940. There you go, right there. For the gentlemen and for our lady gladiator, $13,000. Got another. Fourteen grand could be won today. Good times. Yeah. Welcome the ladies for me. American gladiators, the ones I love. Yay, yay. How you doing? Doing great. Let's meet everyone, please. This is Skye. Hello, Skye. Next to her is Ice. Hello, Ice. And right next to her is Zap. Hi. Hello, Zap. So who gets to choose your name? Um, the producers? They, they choose them, yeah. Producers Zap, choose. So you chose yours, right, Zap? No. No, no. no. there are six people. I still serve. Actually, oh, you did? My Depends show was yeah. Athena. My name was Athena on the okay. show, and it was changed on the tour. Really? <laughs> yeah, through, uh, through <laughs> nicknames. Oh, yeah. Okay. And they just decided to change it? Yeah, it was my happened? nickname. I got you. Thanks to... Uh, Nitro and Gemini and a few people. Well, I'll talk so to So it all depends guys. on how you look Come at it. Come on over here. We're delighted that you're here. Nice and you have two children. Yes, I have two daughters. And, and they are? Girls. Ashley and Taylor. Eleven and five. Beautiful girls. Blown big kiss. Mommy loved you. Uh -huh. cool, Mommy. I just had a lot of animals. What's your horse name? Savannah and Spunky. Come on, Savannah! <laughs> <laughs> they get lost. Anyone you want to call that? My daughter. I have a little four-year-old right. name. What's her name? Teddy Ray. Big oh, kiss. Oh. Oh, my girl. Just for you, Teddy Ray. Here they are. The male version. Now, we've won two games. We yeah. haven't got as much money as the We've still got $5,940. And we can do another 14 grand a day. I hope so. Let's meet the guys, please. All right, this is the mean and volatile nitro. Nice. Uh, uh, this is the cool man, Hawk. I'm pretty yeah. cool. All right, cool. pretty cool. That's my main man, Saber down there. Saber. Yo. Yes. I can go around. Now, do you go on the road with the show occasionally? Do you go out visiting different cities? Yeah. We try to. Yeah. It's been a couple years. We went. Well, no, because I've seen ads on television saying, "Come into your hometown." Come into your house. Yeah. Come well, your house. <laughs> I move, so don't bother coming. <laughs> we won't find you. But you've you got to play big arenas. You, do you play big arenas? Yeah, no, we used to. We were on uh, tour a couple years ago. Yeah. We did the garden. We I would imagine. We did it sensationally. Yeah. Yeah. We're delighted yeah. you're here. And Dan, show me we can win. Will you do that? Heavy money. Big not, money. Not pin money. Heavy Are money. you mad today? Okay. Mad no, he's, he's all right. No, I, yes, right. Man, Richard, I think he's if you were a grown man and had to wear this, would you be upset? I would be. I'd be okay. upset. That's all I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the hippest line we've had in four days. Yes, I would be upset. We have had to be here. We're going to do it, aren't we? We're going to do it, brother. All right. We got you. He's a man who took one word answer only to win the big money. Man, big money. Right there. Say right that. There. Hey. 5,000. 5,000. Yeah, come! The Bangles game! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Five thousand, the very least you'll play for. Could be fourteen. Three questions. Three questions here. First one is worth one thousand dollars. I'm looking for the number one bankroll answer. Here's the question. Tell me something kids trade. Yeah. Baseball cards. Baseball cards. It's worth a thousand, and I'm proud of you. Six thousand in the bank, the very least. This is worth three thousand dollars. And something you give thanks for when saying grace. Yeah. Thank you for the meal. Okay, thank you for the meal. Sure, well done. Eight thousand, least you will play for. Last bankroll question is worth five thousand dollars. What U.S. president do you think has the largest number of city streets named after? Yep, Kennedy. Kennedy. Washington? Washington? Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Okay. The ladies will play for 13. The gentlemen will play for 6. Washington was first. And LBJ Avenue was second. We'll be back right after this. First team of American gladiators to get a 300 will play for the money. 100 people surveyed. Tom. Six answers on the board. Here's the question. Aim something you lose when you have a cold. Yeah. You lose your voice. Your voice. Three answers could beat it, Lazy. What do you lose when you have a cold? <laughs> you got it. Here we go. Now, we have to put tough ones in occasionally, you know. Something you lose when you have a cold. I lose weight. Okay. Guy loses weight. Yeah. Oh, right. Right. What do you lose when you have a cold? Sleep. Lose hey, sleep. Yeah. Oh. Time from your work? You lose time at work. Oh, oh. Right. Oh. Panther. Mm -hmm. You lose when you have a cold. Um, you lose your closeness with your spouse. You can't get close to your spouse. <laughs> okay, bye. Closeness with the spouse. Now we've got two strikes, Sky. You lose your energy. Strength. All righty. Is there okay? And if not, there's strike energy. Gentlemen, what are we going to do here? Appetite. 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 We got her. Appetite. Yeah. Appetite. Appetite. So I couldn't come up with one. <laughs> Appetite. Right. Appetite. There you get it. If not, give it a lady. Appetite. Oh, yes! Two! See, these are not trick. These are not trick questions. What we want you to do is take something from your own life and sort of use it as a weapon to... Oh, God, we'll be back right after this. <laughs> Nothing there yet. 300 is the magic score. Point values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a type of business you would own if you lived in an old west town. Yes. Antique store. An antique store. Uh, no. Type of business you'd own if you lived in an old west town. A saddle saddlery place. Ah, a saddle place. All right. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Key words here, an old west town. What sort of business would you own? This is PG, right? I'm just kidding. Uh, I'd say own? we would own a feed store for our animals. Feed? Sure. Oh, great answer. answer. Feed store. Yeah. 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 Gotta have that. What is it, Sam? Um, I don't drink, but I, I probably still own, would own a saloon. Yeah. All right, baby, we're hot. I'd come in with you. <laughs> I'd come in with you. That'd be a good investment. A saloon. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I remember what happened. Okay. The old West Town. What business are you going to be in? Let me say uh, newspaper. Newspaper, right? Uh, newspaper. Uh, first strike, but I like good answers. Didn't make it. Nice, so please. A gun store. Sure. <laughs> 
Ooh. I'm surprised. Sound like a perfect answer to me. Hi. A computer stuff? No. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the new West. Right. Uh, how about a brothel? Hey, all righty. House of ill repute. I gotcha. If the house of ill repute is there, okay, if not, third strike. Ill repute, one house off. Yeah. This man knows his old way. Well done, well done. Huh? Every every western town has to have uh, a barber shop to get the old fashioned. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> there you got a million, if not third strike, a barber shop. Uh, no, wait a minute. No, a bank. A what about a bank? bank? No, wait a minute. A, 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 a cafe? A Tony Cafe? Yes. No, yes. what do you call it? Yes. A Pony Express. A Pony Express. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Pony Express. Type of business you don't if you live in Old West Town. A Pony Express. Pony Express. All right. The Pony Express is there, my love. You're on the board, 154. If not, big lead for the gentleman. Pony Express. Here we go. Train station. Train. You know, the idea of cafe is five. A bank. A bank. Oh. Yeah. 93 to nothing. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Who are you arguing? Baby? I've got it all. Got to get on the board. Now we have. Point values are tripled. It's down. No, it isn't. I now. just have a fat hand. Just put your hand. Thank you. Just put your hand. Oops, sorry. Thank you. Well, we've got to be fair here. <laughs> Point values are tripled. 100 people surveyed. Top six answers on the board. Here's the question. When you're out driving, name the kind of vehicle you move out of the way for. Yeah. A semi-truck. A semi-truck. One answer could be tonight. An ambulance. An ambulance. Yeah. That's it. Well done. Excellent. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. You're out driving. What kind of vehicle do you move out of the way for? Fire? Fire truck? Sure. Yes. A fire yeah. truck? Yeah. Easy. Make it easy, girl. Yeah. What one would you need? Police car. Nothing good. <laughs> move out of the way of a police car. A reckless driver. Someone All right. Driving your radical. A crazy reckless driver. Drunk driver. First strike. Ice. Would it be considered a uh, oh, drunk driver would be the same? Well, I think that would drunk be reckless. Driver. Would that be, huh? would that be the same? Reckless no, and sorry, drunk. I already got to you. Okay, would reckless and drunk driver be the same? I would think so. It would be definitely reckless to be driving as drunk. Okay. Um, Another I, kind uh, of vehicle that you'd move out of the way for. A fast-moving car, like a speeding okay. car. <laughs> well, that wouldn't answer. be considered reckless, would it? Car going 318 miles an hour! Uh, no! Oh, Lord. Driving, what sort of vehicle would you definitely get out of the way for? Is um, a motorcycle considered, it's not considered a vehicle? Well, I don't know, I think it probably might be, we'll find out. Yes, yes, it is. It is considered a motorcycle. Well, I would get out of the way for that. If it's there, okay, and if not, there's drive, oh. motorcycle! Uh, no! There are two answers unrevealed. We got it. You got it? What's the question? We got it. We're going to say uh, funeral hearse. Oh. We get out of the way for a hearse. A funeral procession. You'll play for the big money if it's there. If not, the ladies are on the board. Hearse! <laughs> Five, please. A bicycle. Six. A bike. 193, 276, let's go! Come on, Zach! Come on, baby, keep your listen, baby. Point values are tripled. 100 people surveyed, top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Tell me something people do right after you've paid them a compliment. Yeah. Thank you. Say thank you! Here you go. Okay, listen. I'm going to read this once. I get you. you got three seconds to answer it. I'm not going to repeat it. Tell me something people do right after you pay them a compliment, please. They smile. They smile. John. Nitro. Hug. They give you a hug. 
No. They return the compliment. They return the compliment. Here's that. Davis, here's that one. They bless. Ooh. If they blush, you'll blush yourself into fast money. Blush! Time will start. When I finish reading the first question, you know we wish you luck. What's the greatest thing they put in cars in the last 20 years? Radio. One thing you spend most of the day doing? Working. Something specific that girls put in their hair? Hairspray. An animal that lives in trees? Birds. Something that an usher does at a theater? Seats people. Okay, turn around. Yeah, Greatest thing to put it in a car in the last 20 years, you said? Radio, I hate it when they had the singer with the megaphone. Oh, that drove me crazy. Survey? <laughs> Something you spent most of the day doing working. Survey said. Yeah. yeah but... Something specific the girls put in their hair. Hairspray, you said. Survey said. 12, we got 57. Animal that lives in trees. You said, tweet, tweet. Survey said, 26, we got 83. Something that an usher does at a theater, he seats people. And the survey said, that's a great story. Great. Well done, and man, we are 62 points away. Here it comes. Oh. You know, we wish you luck. You wish you luck. 62 points. 62 points. $6,000. $6, Don't $6, duplicate any of the Don't answers. Nitro gave you. Otherwise, you will get this. I'll yeah. say try again. Try again. Okay. Right. okay. I have a terrible feeling. Yeah. I've just given up. All right. Any chance okay. of winning this money by offending Richard? Not me. <laughs> 25 seconds on the clock, please. Make me proud of you, Saber. Yes, Let's sir. do it. What's the greatest thing they put in cars in the last 20 years? Airbag. One thing you spend most of your day doing? Talking. Something specific that girls put in their hair? Hairspray. Try again. Moose. An animal that lives in trees? Monkey. Something that an usher does at a theater? Take you to your seat. Try again. Um, take your ticket. Okay, yeah. turn around. Okay. That's it. The ticket. You're doing a good job here, Ken. Greatest thing they put in cars in the last 20 years. You'll be pleased to see they've got radios in there. We're thrilled with that. <laughs> you said airbag. Number one answer. Survey. Yeah. Okay. We spend most of the day doing. Working was number one. You said talking. We need... Two Survey said. Two. We are 20 points away. Something specific that girls put in their hair. I didn't know anything about that. <laughs> right. Bows. Bows and ribbon. Number one, you said. Little moose. Survey said. Four. We are 16 points away. An animal that lives in trees. Squirrel, number one. You said a monkey. 16 points for $6,000. Survey said. We'll see who is victorious. We love you. And we'll see you on the series. Well done. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. I'm Mark Goodson, television producer.